journalist Linda Kelsey has been sharing her thoughts on secrets. She says secrets are sensational. If someone tells me a secret, I tend to think I should keep it. But according to a recent survey of 3,000 women, it seems women are absolutely not to be trusted because the secret will only remain a secret for a maximum of 47 hours before we pass it on. So do, do you think that, um, you know, sharing a friend's secret, do you think it's the ultimate betrayal? Well, I think there's certain people who can keep secrets and there's certain people, especially on this show, <laughs> who can't. And, and uh, also, there's a difference between a secret and a bit of gossip. I think that, that you know, you, you can differentiate between the two. Um, I would... I mean, you want to look at your soap... Uh, I would never tell Blanche anything on I didn't on know what you were talking Street. about yeah. then, I was thinking... You're looking at your soap, <laughs> yeah. your life bar. Uh, <laughs> Blanche, you'd never tell anything to, or Janice Battersby, but you would go to Emily Bishop, wouldn't you? You'd yeah, tell her yeah, a few yeah. things. Yeah. So I think you have to pick and choose who you're going to you confide in. But I confided in you, didn't I? Yes. I told Jane, when I found out I got Strictly, mm. I told Jane, because I knew she wouldn't tell anybody, because you were absolutely told not to tell anybody at all. Oh, that's lovely, that is. And, well... <laughs> <laughs> Right. Whether you weren't or not, but the thing was that as an actress, it's awful because you know we spend most of our lives as actresses out of work, pretending we've got jobs coming up. You know, people go, "Are you working?" Well, I've got a few things on the go. You know, <laughs> this and that, and it's all a lie. So when you've got a job and somebody goes, "What you do?" and you can't tell them, I was, I kept going around. You'll never guess. You'll never guess. I, I, well, I could be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I always t I told my husband because that's another thing, you know. If you've got friends who say, "Please don't tell anybody," yeah, I would always tell my husband. But then again, if they if they knew me well enough, they'd know that I'd tell my husband. Do you, do, know, do you do think that I'm doesn't saying? count? Yeah, that doesn't count. I don't think it counts. People have said to me, "Don't tell a soul," and I don't tell anyone. Except Paul. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> because it, I, I also don't think you should have secrets in a relationship as yeah. well. And we've got mutual friends, actually, that like bloke friends that tell him stuff and tell me separate stuff. And they think that we don't talk to each other. Mm. We tell each other everything. But isn't that, isn't that bad, though? Because you've got mutual friends and somebody comes to you. It's like when Harry met Sally, isn't it? It's that scenario when they're all telling each other... I wonder which scene you meant then. Oh, oh right, I don't know. One early. <laughs> but um, it, I, I think it could be... If, if somebody asks you to not divulge anything and they need your help, mm. then don't say anything. Yeah, I think, I think that I agree with you. There's a difference between little go idle gossip mm. and proper secrets. It's also, it's a huge responsibility, isn't mm. it, when someone tells you a really big secret mm. Yeah. and you think, off oh... Offloads, well, that, yes. Off, but someone offloaded to me about an affair that they were having mm -hmm. and, and it was over drink and I knew she didn't really want to tell me and, and, and as the more she started to say it, the more she had to carry on because she couldn't say, oh, I shouldn't be telling you this because you might tell someone. Mm. So she carried on and then I never saw her after that. Mm. It was like, oh, no, I can't be around well, Lisa because she knows people, the secret. But what I... about the people that you start to tell a secret and you know they're going to use it against you? That, that thing, knowledge is power. Mm. There are people mm. in this world who take everything you say to them and they slot it away mm. and you just think, oh, goodness. But what about the, on a, on a, in the opposite me. side of that, Linda, what about the people who you use secrets to sell it what, what I mean by that is everybody knows that you're far more interesting if you, you pretend or you actually have got something that's really interesting to say but I really shouldn't tell you it's that whole oh, go on go on yes. and people do it all the time oh, you not yes. only does sex sell in the media but secrets sell in the media so there are people who make a whole career out of I've got something really awful that I can't really talk about but yes. if you kind of eke it out of well, me I you know? may just spill the beans yes I mean <sighs> Like little girls do. Little girls actually bond over secrets, don't they? So yeah. I'll tell you a secret, promise you won't tell anyone, and then they're best friends, aren't they? Yes. But I remember some, this friend of mine, uh, a very close girlfriend of mine, was going out with this guy, and he said to me, um, he, was, he was this very kind of frank and open American guy who'd had lots of therapy and wanted to talk about everything, said, Lisa, I really need to speak to you about your friend, uh, and I know because she's your friend, you'll help her with this. Um, I really like to be intimate with her. I really like to share my body with her. <laughs> but she really smells. <laughs> <laughs> Properly. And I, and I thought, no, he's winding me up and he's having a laugh. Yeah. And he went, it's really breaking my heart because we have such good times together. But she's like, really smelly. <laughs> Do you know what, though? I'm really glad you told me because I wouldn't know what I would have <laughs>
<laughs> that isn't me! That is not me! Just for the record, anyway, that is not me. Anyway, just for the record, I didn't say anything to either of them, oh, and they no. just kind of broke up of their own organic course, but yeah. what a pressure to put on somebody. Absolutely, and some men like stinky women. You know, she's probably very happy now. No. <laughs> <laughs> she's still on her own. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear.